get some camera gear ready. Camera gear. If you didn't notice, there's also some toilet paper. I know what you're thinking. We're actually going outdoors, so I'm gonna need some toilet paper. Most of my shit is ready. I just gotta get it loaded. Shoes, supplies, phone charger, GoPro mount, and the trusty old guitar. All right, I got everything ready, and it all fit. You can't even see that. That's where I'll be sleeping. I got my guitar in, in bed right now waiting for me. So now it's time to hit the road. sleep under the stars last night and this is my sleeping quarters not a bad spot to spend your morning great view the stars were super bright last night so I got some really good photos of it I'm gonna pack up the Jeep put things away and figure out breakfast because I'm hungry now even though this view is absolutely beautiful it's actually just I'm just kind of on a granite rock right off the side of the road right here you can see the road right back there if you walk a little bit further this way you see some people have put some rocks down here, uh, probably to let them know, and especially in the nighttime, if you're gonna go over here and camp and you can't see, that uh, this is pretty much just a big drop off right here. I got some awesome views back here in the background. You can see some of the Silver Mountain Range. I'm sure you guys can see that over there. outdoors for the last couple weeks living up northern California so I'm not used to this thin air yet still very green in August it's incredibly nice got my beer with me in case I get thirsty and we're headed up to uh, Doris Lake place is just absolutely paradise. Spent a lot of time with me and the family up here. Kids jumping off these rocks. It's almost unbelievable, especially when it's this quiet. It's perfect. When you come up here, people always ask me, what do you do when you get there? And the question I always ask them is, what do I have to do? What am I supposed to be doing? Is there something I'm missing out on? And this place can be healing, it can be spiritual, it can be relaxing, beautiful, it can be um, action and adventure, it can be hard work, it can be kickback. Whatever it is that you're looking for, it can be that. I'll walk you over here to this little area that I like to spend some time in. It's uh, where all the dragonflies are. It's kind of shallow water right here. It's just dragonflies everywhere. I'm gonna head back now. I'm kind of looking for something cold to drink. I got a nice chest in the Jeep and some food waiting. And uh, maybe go sit in the hot tub or a hammock, read a book, whatever, just kick back and enjoy.
hanging out in the hot tub. Met some really cool people, had some good company. It was hot, I'm burnt. You can see how red I am. It is now seven o'clock. The sun's going down. Since it's seven o'clock, I gotta rush over to getting uh, some food before the restaurant closes. They close at eight. I think eight or nine. Actually, I don't remember. I think it's eight. Hanging out here, very special spot right here. I love these trees. Me and the kids and the family always used to hang out right here. This is old Pedro. This is where I spent my time up here. Nice little hot tub. Sun heats up these flowers, warms them up, and then they uh, bloom. You can see all these yellow flowers behind me. Uh, they just started blooming right now. And they're the evening primrose, I think they're called. I'm probably wrong about that, but that's what I remember. We used to sit here all the time and uh, enjoy the sunset. And Jade pointed it out once, so it kind of stuck. These two trees that are growing together right here are supposed to be me and Tosh. This one right here next to it would be Isabel because it's the third biggest. And this one over here would be Jade. This one would be Evan. This one would be Lucifer because it's a little bit smaller. And then that little tiny one was Rambo, our old dog. So this is all of us right here, all seven. Me, Tosh, Isabel, Jade, Evan, Lucifer, Rambo. Thank you.